Today we'll be testing your Bible knowledge with all sorts of Bible trivia questions. There will be three rounds. Round one, we'll be having easy questions. Round two, questions with a medium difficulty. And round three will be more challenging. Are you ready? Let's go. Here are 10 easy questions. Question one. According to Genesis, how many days did it take for God to create the world? Was it four, five, six, or seven? The answer was six. Question two. In the time of Noah, what object did God put in the sky as a reminder that he wouldn't flood the earth again? Was that a cloud, a rainbow, a shooting star, or a pillar of smoke? The answer was B, a rainbow. Question three. How many plagues did God send to the Egyptians? Was it five, seven, eight, or ten? God sent ten plagues. Question four. Who was thrown into a den of lions by King Darius? Was that Daniel, David, Moses, or Abraham? That was Daniel. Question five. Who was saved by being put into a basket as a baby and placed in the reeds in the River Nile? Was that Moses, Noah, Samuel or Solomon? The answer was A, Moses. Question six, who baptized Jesus? Was that Peter, John the Baptist, Andrew or no one who wasn't baptized? The answer is B, John the Baptist. Question seven. How many men did Jesus feed with just five loaves and two fish? Was it a hundred, five hundred, three thousand, or five thousand? That was five thousand. Question eight. Which disciple betrayed Jesus with a kiss? Was that John, Philip, Judas Iscariot, or Thomas? The answer was C, Judas Iscariot. Question nine. How many gospel accounts are there? Are there one? two, three, or four? The answer is D, four. Question 10. In the parable of the prodigal son, how many sons did the father have? Was that one, two, three, or four? The answer was B, he had two sons. Round two, here are 10 slightly more challenging questions. Question 11, what was the name of Abraham's son born to Sarah's servant, Hagar? Was that Isaac, Ishmael, 
Jacob or Esau. The answer was B, Ishmael. Question 12. When Moses heard the voice of God from the burning bush, what did God ask him to remove? Was that his sandals, his head covering, his outer garment, or his ring? God asked him to remove his sandals. Question 13. What was the name of the city whose walls collapsed after the Israelites marched around it once a day for six days, seven times on the seventh day, and then blew their trumpets? Was that Canaan, Goshen, Gath, or Jericho? That was Jericho. Question 14. What were the jobs of the two men who were in prison with Joseph and had their dreams interpreted? Were they a farmer and shepherd, a servant and magician, or a cupbearer and baker, or a warrior and a builder? The answer was C, a cupbearer and a baker. Question 15. How many stones did David have when he went out to fight Goliath? Was that three, five, seven, or ten? The answer is five. Question 16. Who anointed Saul to be the first king of Israel? Was that Eli, Jonathan, Nathan, or Samuel? The answer was D, Samuel. Question 17. What was Jesus' first recorded miracle? Was that walking on water, turning water into wine, the healing of a man with leprosy, or the calming of the storm? The answer was B, turning water into wine. Question 18. Which book of the Bible contains the account of the Tower of Babel? Is that Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, or Numbers? The answer is A, Genesis. Question 19. When John the Baptist was preaching in the wilderness, what two things did he eat? Was that bread and fish, figs and unleavened bread, locust and honey, or lamb and bitter herbs? The answer was C, locust and honey. Question 20. Which of Jesus' disciples used to be a tax collector? Was that Andrew, Matthew, Peter or John? The answer was B, Matthew, who was also called Levi. Round three. Here are ten difficult questions. Question 21. According to Matthew's Gospel, who were the first two disciples to follow Jesus? Was that Peter and Andrew, James and John, Matthew and Thomas, 
or Thaddeus and Philip. The answer is A, Peter and Andrew. Question 22. Who was Vashti in the Bible? Was she one of Lot's daughters? Or the queen at the beginning of Esther? Or one of Solomon's wives? Or King Zimri's wife? The answer is B. She was the queen at the beginning of the book of Esther. Question 23. How long were the Hebrews living in Egypt? Was it 150 years, 270 years, 365 years or 430 years? The answer is D, 430 years. Question 24. What is the sixth commandment? Is it, you shall not murder, or you shall not commit adultery, or you shall not give false testimony against your neighbour, or honour your father and your mother? The answer is A, you shall not murder. Question 25. Who cut off Samson's hair? Was that Delilah or Delilah's father or the rulers of the Philistines or was it an unnamed man? The answer is D, an unnamed man. Question 26. Which two books of the Bible open with the same three words? Is that Matthew and Zechariah, Mark and 1 Kings, Luke and Acts, or John and Genesis? The answer is D. The Gospel of John and Genesis both begin with In the Beginning. Question 27. In which book of the Bible do we read about a character called Mordecai? Is that Ruth, Esther, Amos or Micah? The answer is B, Esther. Mordecai was Esther's adoptive father. Question 28. What did Jacob call the place where he had his dream about a stairway to heaven? Was that Bethel, Dan, Bochim or Edom? The answer is A, Bethel. Question 29. According to Matthew's Gospel, who did Jesus say in the Beatitudes will see God? Is that the poor in spirit, the meek, the pure in heart, or the peacemakers? The answer is C, the pure in heart. Question 30. Which is the only miracle, apart from the resurrection, which is recorded in all four Gospels? Is that the ten lepers being healed, or Lazarus being raised from the dead, or the feeding of the five thousand, or Jesus walking on the water? The answer is C, the feeding of the 5,000. 
If you've enjoyed this quiz, then do click subscribe and the bell icon. And why not share it with somebody else? Let's learn more about God's word together. If you're still up for a challenge, we have plenty more quizzes here where you can test your Bible knowledge. Until next time, thank you for watching and grace and peace to you all.